Hey guys, Ivan here and welcome to another video. In this video we're gonna talk about a couple of very interesting topics, but before we get to that, I wanna say the amount of support that I got from you guys on my video that I posted yesterday, actually the day before yesterday, I was overwhelmed honestly i wasn't expecting that kind of response seeing how happy you guys actually are that i'm back on youtube i don't know i don't know what to say thank you guys so much and also all the praise that i received on my forum that i posted from my competition i honestly wasn't expecting this kind of a positive feedback some of you guys have been following me for a while and you recognizing that i made progress actually in the past couple of years and as much progress as you say i have made it really it really made my day honestly now, at this point, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that I competed at the European Championships, that I won my height class and the overall in my division, and while I was prepping for this show, I was using a bunch of supplements, honestly. I really wasn't pushing my body and my health to crazy limits to achieve the condition that I achieved. I actually maintained solid conditioning from my previous show, it was like 6 months ago, and I just cruised into this show and I slowly got more shredded. But there is one thing, I was eating a lot of protein, a lot of protein, and I wasn't able to actually eat all of it from meat. So old school abs vintage brawn was a fine replacement for me guys, I'm telling you, this protein is an isolate protein, it has almost no fat or carbs, it tastes so amazing and because it's whey isolate, it's also egg white protein and beef isolate protein, it's basically like a meal. It's not like when you have just a whey isolate, it just goes through you so fast. Actually, this protein powder I was able to have before going to bed because it digests more slowly and it really feels like you ate something because it's from real food. And that's why I loved it during this prep and as you can see, it really helped me to get my protein in and actually get shredded at the same time. So guys, if you want to try it, there is a link down below. Just use the code EVAN and that's it. If you want to support me and my channel, this is a great way to do it. There is a link down below once again. Thank you so much, guys. Now let's go to the video. You already saw this little sneak peek of Big Remy in the beginning of this video. It's him checking into the, the hotel and somebody snapped a photo of him from behind, like he didn't know that anybody was taking a photo of him, but you can see basically how big he is right now, and actually he went to Pittsburgh Pro to do that guest posing that he missed last year, and a lot of people are saying, I mean, assuming that that might be the reason why he placed so poorly, actually this year and last year, so at the Mr. Olympia he was 5th, and the Arnold he was 4th, a lot of people actually had him winning the Arnold Classic or placing higher at the Olympia also because he was a, a previous champ. It never happened before that a previous champ, the champ from last year, loses the title and places fifth. That was the first time, but I don't think there were many bodybuilders that skipped the Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing organized by the president of the IB Pro League and the MPC, Jim Mannion. So, I don't know if that has anything to do with, with Big Remy's placement, I don't think so, I think he deserved what he got, but, you know, there is, there is a rumor circling around, I mean, an assumption, people are speculating, people are, people are spreading gossip, and that's normal, it's just an assumption, I don't believe in it, but, hey, he's here, he's in Pittsburgh, he is going to do this guest posing this year, yeah, he's not skipping this one, that's for sure, and also, another interesting thing is, like, how big he is right now. I'm really curious to see him on stage in this photo. He doesn't look particularly thick, right? But, I mean, that's Big Ram. He never really wears tight shirts. He always wears oversized shirts and pants as well. So you never really get to see how big, how good he looks uh, in clothes. You never really can assume uh, that he is either big or small. But, like, he doesn't look super impressive right here, but I think that's mainly because of clothes. I'm pretty sure on that stage, he is going to look very good. But I don't think he's gonna be, you know, bigger than, for example, Nick Walker. Because it seems like Nick Walker is really pushing it. Pushing the mass. And he is, like, in the ballpark. He is, like, in the same realm of muscularity as Big Ramy is. I mean, he's shorter, but he has as much muscle as Big Ramy does right now, for sure. And he's pushing the offseason. Big Ramy looks like he's just maintaining. 
and he's gonna try hit when he preps next time he's gonna probably you know grow at the same time as, he, as he's getting conditioned i think that's his approach for the past couple of years because he's already maxed out size wise he doesn't need to grow so i don't think he's pushing the envelope in the off season he doesn't have to in this photo, at least, he knew that somebody was taking a photo of him. He took a photo with uh, your Miss Olympia in uh, women's physique. And uh, you can see here, like, he, here he looks a little bit bigger. His arms, his biceps are looking pretty thick. You can see his legs, his chest. So, he, I mean, Arnold Classic happened recently. So, how much smaller could he be? Even if he went completely off and didn't train at all and didn't eat, I don't think he could lose really anything. Again, I don't think he's going to be super freaky, super impressive like Nick Walker. I don't think that guy went off. And I don't think he went off his diet or his training. I think he just pushed it super hard after the Arnold. Uh, I don't think that's the case with Big Remy. It doesn't look like that. But I'm really curious to see him on that stage and that guest posing. Even though it's not a pro show for men's open, it's just a guest posing. I find it probably more interesting than the majority of the shows in the in the year, really. Because what are bodybuilding shows? I mean, they're not real competition. It's not like soccer. It's just looking at the bodybuilders, what they look like. And it's interesting to see them compared in their off-seasons. And a lot of big names are doing this guest posing, so it's going to be super interesting. Can't wait to see it. And I'll be the first to post a video about it right here. So guys, subscribe to this channel. Man, how much does it suck that this guy is not going to do that guest posing? Michal Krizo, who looks absolutely insane right now. Freaking crazy. Look at his freaking physique. Look at how full, how big, how round he is right now. And yeah, as far as I know, he's not doing the Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing. I would love to see him compared to Big Ramy, Nick Walker, Samson Dauda, Hunter Labrada right now, the way he looks in the offseason. I think his conditioning was probably the main issue that he had on Mr. Olympia stage. And in the offseason, he would probably blow all these guys out of the water. I'm pretty sure he would kill them all. And that would be a hell of a guest posing. I think these guys should definitely do more guest posings. I don't know if promoters are aware how good he would look in a guest posing. I don't know why they're not calling him or they're calling him but he doesn't want to do it or he's charging too much. I don't know, but I think this guy should do as many guest posings, as many appearances as he possibly can because this is a sight to be seen. Like if he was guest posing in whichever show close to Serbia, close to my town, close to my city, I would go and watch it definitely, like that would be super motivating or demotivating, seeing how somebody can be this big, this freaky, it's, it's insane, it's ridiculous. Unfortunately, we don't get to see him compared to the big guys, to the big boys, to Nick Walker, to a big Remy, Samson, Unfor very unfortunately, but at least you can see what he looks like right now on his IG and God. Is he impressive? <laughs> is this freaking insane? I mean, this is this is ridiculous, man. So I'm sure this guy did not go. I mean, he actually, I think he go, he went off for a while, but then he probably went back on and started pushing it because right now he looks ridiculously full and big and very very lean. He didn't gain anybody fat. So yeah, I'm curious to see what he's gonna look like eventually when he competes. The first time he needs to do a pro show if he wants to qualify for Mr. Olympia. I'm not sure which show he's aiming for, but I think there is only a handful of shows that he can't win right now. As long as he brings conditioning and puts their proper tan on, that was also an issue with Mr. Olympia, and he poses well. And I think his posing was improved. I don't think he really needs to improve his back that much or his glutes or whatever. He just needs to come in polished, conditioned, full, crispy, and like there is like maybe maybe five, six bodybuilders in the world that he can't beat, but on any given day, he can probably take them out as well. So this is one of the best bodybuilders in the world right now, no doubt. But on IG or like in the gym or at the guest posing, he will be probably the most impressive bodybuilder in the world right now. Jay Cutler has officially started his prep at the weight of 240, and he says it begins. His prep has started. 
but no, unfortunately, it's not a prep for Masters Olympia. If you guys haven't seen, I encourage you to go to Jay Cutler's podcast channel on YouTube and see and watch the podcast with Milo Sharjo in which he basically talks about what his plans are and whether he's going to do the Masters Olympia or not. He said he's not going to do the Masters. He's going to prep, he's going to try to transform his body for his birthday. He's turning 50 this year in a couple of months, like four months or so. And he wants to just, you know, get bigger, more muscular and leaner at the same time by not taking anything, he says. He wants to stay on TRT, maybe sprinkle a little bit of something, something sweet, something easy, something light, you know, nothing crazy, but like stay on TRT and just try to be as healthy as possible while he's doing this transformation. Again, he's 240. 240, pretty freaking lean. Like, he is very conditioned. So this is really impressive for somebody who has been retired as long as Jay was. Uh, how well would he do at the Masters Olympia? Poorly, poorly. I mean, there are so many great bodybuilders, amazing bodybuilders who are 40 years old or over. Jay is almost 50, so he can't compete against those guys. I mean, I, there are probably going to be some guys we never heard about doing this show, like we didn't expect to do as well as they will do. Like, I know personally a lot of 40-year-old bodybuilders who are looking like they're 25. You know, there are genetic marbles like that. As the Masters Olympia approaches, if there are some guys with crazy updates, I will make videos about that. We're gonna review that Masters Olympia before it happens for sure. Actually, we're gonna preview it and review it after it happens. So guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. There is a lot of fun stuff in preparation that's gonna happen on this channel. Potentially a podcast as well. I don't know if you can if you can notice by my voice, but I'm really enthusiastic about YouTube. I mean, taking a break this long, a month or even more, really made me uh, more hungry and and more driven and really focused on YouTube. And I want to make it big. I wanna I wanna take this space after Trigili went away and Tominator as well. There is basically a free spot, and I want to utilize it as much as possible. So I'm gonna try and really push the content and really try to be my best as far as YouTube. So guys, once again, stay tuned, subscribe, go to the Old School Labs website, choose whichever flavor of vintage brawn or whichever product you like, just make sure to use the code DIVAN and that way you're gonna show me some appreciation. It's gonna help me to keep pushing, to keep working hard to make all this entertainment for you guys. So once again, thank you so much guys for all your support. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe once again. Thank you so much guys, all the best and bye-bye.